Today I am at the minivan station in Hat Yai. It's actually in Hat Yai Nai. It's located between Index Living Mall, just over there, and Tesco Lotus. You should be able to see the sign. And this week I had a query from someone who's coming to Hat Yai and then going on to Grubby by bus or van. And they just wanted confirmation that transport is available. I've had a car for 12 years, so I don't use buses or vans. So I've come here to um, check out the answer for him. And this is also to give a more comprehensive overview of bus and van travel in Hat Yai. I've covered the bus station before, but I've never been here before. So this is what this video is all about. A quick bit of history and this place was built in 2007 and prior to 2007 the situation with minivans in Hat Yai was a bit of a nightmare. They left from different places in the middle of town dependent on the destination. So if you wanted to get a van to Trung, this woman's looking at me suspiciously, you had to go to a certain place on Supersan Road near to Chiu Chang Temple. And if you wanted to go to Patalung, you had to go to somewhere else where the van's left from. And if you wanted to go to Nakonsi Tamara, somewhere else, it was really bad. It was okay for the locals who use vans regularly and knew where to go, but for people just passing through, it's very difficult. So they built this place in 2007, and since then, vans either go from here which is known as Terminal 2, or they go from the bus station, which is known as Terminal 1. Just two places, it's much easier. Here are the ticket offices, and I'll just go along the destinations where vans go to leaving from this terminal in Hat Yainai. So, Grubby, this is where our friend wants to go to, Phuket. Uh, Lum Tub, I'm not sure where that is. Uh, Chien Yai. Park Panang, Trang, Park Bara, that's in Satun where you get the ferry to Lipe Island, uh, Patalung, Gong Ra, Bangao, Kai, Kau, Kau Chai Son, Kau Chai Son is Patalung, Pa Payom, Tung Son, Tung Song, that's Nakonzi Samarat, Suratani, where you'll get the ferry to Gotsubui, Nakonzi Samarat. So all of these places you can go to from the minivan station in Hat Yainai. If you're going to Phuket from Hat Yai as a third option, these like mini buses, they're bigger than a van and smaller than a normal bus. And they used to leave from a place just on the other side of the road, but now they leave from here. Regarding language, it's the same as it is in most places in Thailand. Um, there is English here, but on the destinations there's Thai and English. But then when you look for more details, it's just Thai. So we look at this um, fair structure here. And from uh, Panga, if you, if you get on at Panga and then get off at Phuket, Long Phuket is 200 baht. If you get on at Krabi, and get off at Phuket, 250 baht. Hat Yai to uh, Patalung is 200. Hat Yai to Trang is 250. Trang to Phuket, 340. And for children, it's 310. Hat Yai to Patalung, sorry, Hat Yai or Patalung to Grabi is 380. Uh, children is 350. And Hat Yai or Patalung to Panga Phuket is 440 and 410 for children. The ability to read some Thai is extremely useful in Thailand, but don't worry if you can't. The staff here are not great at English, but they know enough to be able to tell foreigners how much the fare is to certain places. And some more information for the person who's going to Grabi from the vans leave at 9 o'clock in the morning, 11 o'clock, then 1 o'clock in the afternoon, 3 o'clock and 5 o'clock, so every two hours. And the woman I just spoke to was really surly, you know, it's, it's as if she didn't want to give me any information. Maybe she's seen me with a camera 
and think, so, you know, I'm, I'm just here to, to do a video and, and I don't want to buy a ticket, which is actually true. But all the same, it's really strange. You know, some, some people you speak to are really friendly and helpful and other people are like her. Some Magnang Satani Konsong Pudoi San. This is the, the van station office. So if you do have any problems um, and the, the people at the ticket counter don't want to help you, they should be able to help you at the main office. Once you've bought your ticket, there's a, a waiting area if you need to wait, where you can buy a coffee and snacks. And they've got some food, but not too much. There's a, a guy over here selling five-star fried chicken. And here, there's a, a cow gang stall. These are the pre-made curries that they sort of make in the morning and leave in trays. And by lunchtime, they're, they're sort of only mildly warm. I'm not very keen myself. I, I prefer the, the food made to order, the Ahan Tam Sung, but there, there's none of that here. So there you're only two options for food, fried chicken or pre-made curries. This is the official name for this place. Satani Konsong Pu Doi San. Ampo Hat Yai, Jang Wat Song Kla, Hang Ti Song. But I've never heard anyone say that. They usually call it Kiu Rotu Palat Gasset, which means minivan Q agricultural market. Uh, you can just say Kiu Rotu and tuk tuk drivers and, and motorbike taxis should know what you mean. The cheapest way to get here from downtown Hat Yai is by Songtel. These are the pickup trucks with rows of seats in the back and you'll need to get one that's going to Kuan Lung or the airport. Now either tell the driver where you want to go and he'll stop or keep an eye out for Index Living Mall on the right hand side and as soon as you see it ring the bell in the Songtel and the driver will stop. Now he will stop just over there and all you need to do is cross the road and you'll be at the minivan station. And a song tell should only be 10 baht from the centre of Hat Yai. In the car park are some of the buses they use for the Phuket route. And as you can see, they're quite a bit bigger than minivans. Now the following is just a personal opinion. But for years, even before I had a car, I did my best to avoid these things. I just had too many bad experiences with, with minivans. And the problem is, is that many of them are run by private companies for profit. There's no schedule. They will only leave when the van is completely full. And sometimes you have to wait for ages until they get enough passengers. And when it is full, they then try and get more in. They, they overload them. On one trip from Hat Yai to Grabi, I, I waited a long time in the van for the, the van to be full eventually it was it was full up and then three more people turned up and the driver said yeah get in I thought, how, how is he gonna get three more people in and all the luggage was in the back so they, they took that out put the luggage on the roof and then flipped down on another row of seats in the back and got three more people it was um there were way too many people in there and then the drivers drive like crazy and uh, i i really don't like these things but it's entirely up to you from Hat Yai, you can get to anywhere in southern Thailand by bus or van, all the way up to Bangkok. So if you want to get to a destination, which isn't one of the destinations that we've just seen here at the minivan station, you'll need to go to the main bus station. And that's where I'll head to next. This video is just about the public transport options, but in Thailand, you've got a lot of private tour operators as well and they can offer transport and they can offer destinations that public transport don't so here for instance we've got uh, Korat in Isan, Satburi, Pattaya, Chomburi, Ratyong, Morchet. Morchet is the bus terminal you'd go to if you wanted to travel to the north of Thailand. Uh, Maha Chai, some dumb some of these places I don't know Satgao Suratani so as I say you've got the the public transport options and private transport options we're now at Hat Yai bus station 
and I did a video about the bus station previously so I don't want to duplicate information this video is purely about destinations that you can get to by bus or van from Hadyai so I'll just be concentrating on destinations this is the main bus timetable at the bus station Bangkok, Chiang Rai, Ratyong, Bungan I don't know where Bungan is uh, Korab, Phuket, Panga, Grabi so buses to Phuket will go through Grabi and Panga Chumpon, Ranong, Lakonsi Tamarat, Samui, Sungai Kolok Phuket, Tung Song and Surat Thani so you can see that for some of these places you have an option uh, for Suratani for example if you want to go by van you can go to the minivan station or if you want to go by big bus you can come to the bus station at the van station we saw some of those mini buses that go to Phuket which weren't bad but here they've got the full size double decker buses which look a lot more comfortable as I explained earlier I don't like minivans personally and on one of my first trips to Hat Yai before I knew anything about Hat Yai I wanted to go to Grabi by big bus and I asked a woman in Hat Yai a travel agent where the bus station was and she made it sound as if the bus station was you know sort of hundreds of miles away almost impossible to get to and the reason for that is that she wanted to sell me a ticket for one of her minivans so she lied to me so if someone tries to tell you that the bus station is miles away don't believe them it's not actually that far away from the center of town you can get a tuk tuk or motorbike taxi for 40 or 50 baht there are some similarities and differences between the main bus station and the minivan station one similarity is that from both places you can get minivans to Patalong you can only get the very big buses at the main bus station and you can only get those sort of mini buses those those buses that are bigger than a van but smaller than a big bus from the minivan station earlier in the video we saw all the destinations available at the minivan station I just showed you the main timetable in the bus station now let's look at the destinations in the ticket booths at the bus station so Patalong, Talay Noi. Talay Noi is a beautiful wetlands reserve in Patalong province. Some are just in Thai. Mae Kri, Guai Luk, Bangao, Khao Chai Son. The only one I know is Khao Chai Son, which is in Patalong province. Another nice place. Panom, Tamot, Gong Ra. The only one I know here is Beitong in Yala province. Tung Song, Nakonji Tamarat, and there's a special shuttle service from the airport to here, the bus station. And it's probably the cheapest way of getting from the airport into Hat Yai. At the minivan station, we saw that you can get a minivan to Grabi. If you come to the bus station, you can get a large bus to Grabi, which is what I'd recommend these are a lot more comfortable and a lot safer so they leave at eight o'clock one o'clock six in the evening and half past nine at night and the fare 254 to Grubby 322 to Hunga 396 to Phuket for, for me that would definitely be the preferred option if you do decide to go by a big bus on some routes you will see you get various options so for example this one to Phuket, Rot, Prap Agat, Chanung, Piset, Samsip Song, Tinang. So um, Prap Agat is air conditioning, uh, Chanung first class, Piset special and this one's only got 32 seats so you get more leg room. On some routes if you want to save money you can go in buses that are not air conditioned it's not actually as bad as you think once you get going and all the windows are open and the fans are on it doesn't get that hot but obviously it's, it's much more comfortable in Thailand to, to be in an air-conditioned bus Chumpon which is quite a long way north up the um, peninsula uh, Phuket Phuket another Phuket Phuket's a very popular destination 
and there's one here that goes from Betong down in Yala province up to Hat Yai and then on to Phuket. I mentioned in my previous video that the ticket from Hat Yai to Samui Island includes the, the bus fare to Suratani and the ferry from Suratani to Samui. Nakon si Tamarat, Tam Palop, I don't know where that is either. This one goes to Tamalang Port in Satun, but if you want to go to Lipe, you would normally go to Pagpara in Satun. Songkla, Yatla, another one to Phuket, lot to Phuket, very popular destination. Ratnong, got Samui, Hamtip. Tanok, Hatyai, Phuket. So if you're coming up from Malaysia or Singapore across the border and got off at Tanok, you could then theoretically get a bus all the way through to Phuket. Same with um, Sungai Gok Golok. Down on the Malaysian border, you can get a bus all the way through to Samui Islands. Beitong, down in Yala, got Yai, Trang. Trang is one of those places where you can get a minivan to from here or from the minivan station. Ranog, Suratani, Beitong, um, Naho, got me, Kwon Hin, Ban Don Ki Lek. I'm not sure where that last place is. All the other places are in Songkla. Pure, Nikom, Ta Cha Muang, Ratapum. I think these are all local places in Songkla. Sungai Kolok, Naratiwat, Pak Payun, Padang Besa, Yala, and Natawe. And there's another timetable at the bus station listing all the destinations available by minivan. Just go through those quickly. Uh, Patani, Yala, Nakonti Tamarat, Suratani, Satun, Trang, Patalong, Pak Payun, Naratiwat, Sungai Kolok, Betong, Dok Samui, Papayon, Songkla, Sadao, Danok, Natawi, uh, Talat, Pak Ro. Ranot, Got Yai, Padang Besa, Tam Talop, Dan Pragop, and Tale Noe. One place I haven't seen where people might want to go is Hua Hin. If you want to go there, you'd have to get a bus to Bangkok and then get off at Hua Hin before you actually get to Bangkok. With onward travel to northern Thailand, you would normally get a bus to Bangkok and then go to a bus station in Bangkok, I think it's more Chit, where you will get another bus to your destination. As we've seen, there are a couple of exceptions, such as Korat and Chiang Rai, where you can buy a ticket at Hat Yai and that will take you all the way through. I hope the information in this video has helped. If you have any questions, please leave them below. There are a huge number of transport options in Thailand and it's really easy to get from one place to anywhere else. If you come to a place like this, you'll find that people approach you and ask you where you want to go and they will help. If you're still not very confident, simply ask your hotel receptionist or guest house owner or call into a private travel agent. Well, safe traveling and thank you for watching.